Alright everybody, welcome back. The noisy boy Kamani Brown and today we're actually going to be speaking about using your phone to film. Now when it comes on to filming, regardless of what it is, TikTok, YouTube, whatever social media platform, whatever you're doing, audio is king. That goes without saying. Doesn't matter how good the video quality is, if your audio quality is absolute, it ain't gonna work. So, for reference, I'm actually using the stock microphone on my phone, which is currently the iPhone 14 Pro Max, just so you guys can see the difference, right? Now, just so you guys can know, up close, this thing sounds pretty damn good. From afar, it's a bit lacking. I don't know if you guys can hear the little echoing or you can tell that I'm actually quite a ways off from it. Now, that's where these come in. Not this one specifically. This is absolute garbage. I actually want you guys to never, ever, ever buy this. This is one of these cheaper $20 options that you have there on Amazon. It's like 20 or 20 something dollars. Cost me less than 30 bucks. I'm not even leaving a link for this in the description. Avoid them at all costs. Good audio comes at a premium. The wireless options are more expensive because in my earlier videos, you guys saw that, you know, I use a $30 microphone, a $30 condenser microphone and got pretty much stellar professional sound. That's good enough for most people. But if you want a clean video where nothing is in front of you, <laughs> just you and the camera, this is the way to go. Not this one specifically, but this is the way to go wireless. Avoid these. As you guys can see, it comes in a fancy hard shell case and it comes with two receivers. You guys may see these all over the internet. Like, <laughs> it looks good. Even has a lightning connector for the phone. I think there are USB-C versions out there, but whatever. Looks good. Now, as you guys will soon hear, as you will hear now, I sound absolutely terrible. It may sound like an Android. An Android using an iPhone. Boo this man! No! I sound horrible. It has this whole active noise cancellation thing, which for some reason I think it's fancy, but it's not. Makes it the video quality go down. Might as well I use the stock camera. This was an absolute waste of money. This is me telling you from experience. Do not buy this. Do not buy these cheap $20 ones, $30 ones you see on Amazon. Do not buy them. Stay clear. Don't do it. When it comes on to wireless audio or wireless lavalier microphones for smartphones or in general, they're a bit not as... Hold on, let me, let me get rid of this. You know what? Get rid of this crap. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I have to get rid of that. <laughs> I can't even imagine how bad I was sounding. So, it's not for this crap. Yeah, played basketball back in the day, whatever. Wireless lavalier microphones are sort of novel at this time. They've been up for like a few years now, and really and truly, they're not so cheap at the moment, but good ones anyway. You have to pay for quality, unfortunately. You have ones like the Rode Wireless Go, you have the DJI Wireless Mics as well. Those are the professional grade ones that you may see all around the place. But those are too expensive. I'm all about saving money, peeps. You don't know how it go already. That's where this comes in. The Comica Vimo S Mi or Mi or whatever. This, in my opinion, is the best wireless lavalier microphone for any smartphone. They have the Vimo S UC version, which is the USB-C version if you have an Android phone or if you want to use it with a laptop with a USB-C interface or an iPad, whatever. But this one is specific for iPhones with lightning ports or the older iPads or whatever with lightning ports. If you're not so technically inclined, you just want something with incredible audio quality with no compromise, you just plug it in, press record, do your thing, this is it. Now for the cost, this only costs like 120 bucks. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourselves. For the cost, yeah, it's a bit pricey, but for what you get, you'll soon hear that this thing is definitely worth every penny, especially compared to the other pricier options on the market. So, 
All right, you guys hear for yourselves. But before that, this is what comes in the box. The device itself, your cables, your manuals. Pretty much give you everything you need to get going right off the bat. And it's pretty small, pretty pocketable, right? Now everything is magnetic from the cover itself to the device that you plug into the phone to the actual microphones themselves. You actually get two easily drop, close, put in your pocket, you're good to go. It charges by USB-C and you can also do audio monitoring using, well, they give you an actual adapter for USB-C to 3.5 millimeter audio. Pretty neat package, yo. You actually hear now how this thing sounds <laughs> compared to all the other stuff you just heard throughout this video. All right, people, and here you go. Now using the Comica Vimo S, M, I, or me or whatever, and it's in stereo mode, and this is it. I have the gain up to approximately halfway. I don't know how I sound to you guys, but from my recollection, it sounds pretty good. Now the advantage of having a mic system like this is that no matter how close or far I am from the camera, I'll be having consistent audio quality. And you want consistent, good audio quality. That is what will set your video a cut above the rest. Now, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to be returning this one. As much as I love it, it's easy plug and play despite needing the extender for the lightning port. It's just not gonna work out for me. I sometimes use my Sony ZV-1 to film a lot of my shots, especially when I cannot use the phone. And of course, for obvious reasons, this thing uses the lightning port only, it will not work with my camera. So far, I've been scoring the market. I cannot find a good lightning to 3.5 millimeter jack adapter. I'm only finding the male to female and I need a female to male. And apparently there is none of that out right now. I don't know why nobody has thought about it, but let's see if that changes. But for now, this can't work for me. I highly recommend this for you if you film using your iPhone and your iPhone only, especially if you use it for professional work, this is it. But for me, I need something that's more for Swiss Army Knife. So I'm still staying within the Comica line. They have another one called the Comica Vimo C3. Can't keep up with these names, but let's see how that sounds. All right then people, here we have it. The Comica Vimo C3. 2.4 gigahertz dual channel mini wireless microphone now this is the real deal this is what i actually need why because it's pretty much a jack of all trades it will work with the smartphone my camera and my pc or whatever else because it uses more of the traditional 3.5 millimeter audio jack and of course with the iphone for example you have options using this dongle for example the lightning to the female 3.5 millimeter jack which will enable you to not only use microphones with this interface but you guessed it headphones and etc let's just jump straight into the box this is a fresh unboxing like usual so you don't know i have the plastic on and everything so you don't know it go already people ah, straight into the box that's enough of that and here we go now this box is not as hardy as the other one the vimo si ah now i know why the box isn't all that premium because you actually get a case this is flipping sweet yo this is nice it's a hard shell case of course it's branded so that's enough of that and enough of that as well all right so what do we have here oh okay so this is the main event this is a lot smaller than i thought it would have been everything is in its own little bag here so it's like christmas people this is the camera to mic connection of course there are 3.5 millimeter jacks four poles for input and output and this is just for input only oh we actually get a spare this is strange so we got two of these i don't know why but i guess that's nice to have and this is the usb a to usb type c connection I guess this is for charging or whatever other form of interface if you're using it with a computer or whatever i guess this is what you use let's go all right so 
USB-C to two, well, to two female jacks here, USB-C female jack and a 3.5 millimeter female jack as well. Now this I would assume is for monitoring purposes and now we have the wind muffs, All right? So I guess one, that's one. And this is more than likely the second one. Yep, surprise, surprise. And now on to the main event. Guys, the packaging for this thing is awesome. Now, price, of course, I know you're waiting to hear the price. 139, call it 140 bucks, but I got this on sale for 118 bucks. I'll leave the link below in the description. You guys can, of course, check it out. I'll leave a link for the Vimo SI as well if you guys are more interested in the iPhone only option. And of course, I'll also leave links to my other equipment, which right now I'm actually using a shotgun mic from Mauki, also inexpensive. I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you like how it sounds and think it will more suit your setup. But let's get straight back into this. This case is actually very small. Look at it compared to the case here. A lot of padding right here to protect it. This is a nice touch. I love this. And here we go now. So, oof. So you get battery indicator lights. It's not fully charged. I guess two out of four is probably about 50% or less. And here we have the three items that we care about. So this is mic. Oh, it turns on automatically once you take it out. That's cool. And of course, it's USB type C. Always a plus for future proofing. And here we have the power button on and off is also for muting as well and this i guess this is denoising and whatever else that may be <laughs> i have no clue what that other symbol is this is a fresh unboxing for me peeps let's drop this back in of course this is mic number two and these two gold or brass colored contact points are actually for induction charging so it's actually magnetically charging right there in the case and finally this is a central portion let's tear this off this is for the screen and here we go this is the mother module or the brain of the operation so this is a nice touch an lcd well ips which is lcd screen both of them are in the case right now which means they're inactive so let's take one out here we go, it pairs instantly. I mean, the blue light's no solid, so it's paired instantly. Now, my check one, two, three, as I speak into it, as you guys can see, the gain indicator goes up and down. So this is really nice. Now let's see what happens when I take the second one out at the same time. Bam, pairs instantly as well, nice ease of use that's what it's all about people i love the system so far it's very low profile very tiny i mean look at it compared to the case itself very very tiny look at this look at how small these things are compared to the case and the other case compared to my hands and my hands are not big people so let's see well let's hear how this sounds as i give a feature rundown coming right up all right people and they're back and check this out right so what we have here is my camera setup and the module actually fits directly into the slot here for my microphone or my lights or whatever. I forgot what the slot's name is right now, but the clip fits right in just like this. Simple, 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 simple. I love this. Of course, you guys can see the gain moving up and down. I'm actually using one of them right now and this is as easy as pie i actually mixed up the cables this all black cable here is actually for using with the camera the other one with the gray tip here is actually for monitoring purposes you actually use this with this right but this is awesome guys it's all about ease of setup you guys saw it here first so that's it guys i mean this is my setup I'm loving this. It doesn't get any better than this. Of course, the main advantage of this kind of microphone is that regardless of how close or far 
I am from my camera, it does not matter. My audio will still be premium. And of course, above all else, it will be consistent. Good, consistent audio quality. That's what this is all about. And that is what will set your video a cut above the rest. Never skimp out on good audio quality. I'm stressing that point. This is a bargain. I've heard how the Comica Vimo SI sounds on the iPhone and it sounds incredible for the price. This costs a little bit more or a little bit less depending on when you see it. These things go on sale pretty often apparently. This will give you just the same if not even better audio quality. Compared to the Rode Wireless Go and the DJI wireless microphone, this is a steal of a deal and those don't really sound much better if any better any at all. Of course it has some other gimmicky features like noise cancelling which nobody cares about. We're not there yet people. Those are all gimmicks. No microphone out there, expensive, professional or not, offers true noise cancelling. Might as well you just do that in post when you're editing a video. That's it people. So thanks for tuning in. You don't know. I'll appreciate a like, subscribe and of course hitting that little notification bell so you know when the next video is out. See you guys in the next one. Peace and take care.